You are one decision away from your destiny. There's a wild thing that happens on the other side of making decisions. It requires sacrifice. It requires a new perspective. It requires release. I think as human beings, like we always resist the feeling of release, release of jobs, release of people, release of substance, release of band members. I mean, whatever it may be, it's, it is scary to release something, even if you know it's toxic, even if you know it's not functional towards where you want to go. But how do you recognize that? How do you, how do you make that decision? Um, when I say you are one decision away from your destiny, I mean, you are one decision away from sliding into a groove of where you're supposed to be. That's not easy to find, but at the same time, it's so simple. And when you slide into the groove of life or you slide into the groove of your destiny or where you're supposed to be and you get out of the way of ego, you get out of the way of what you think should be and you just let what is be and allow for the path to form in front of you. It's literally like the saying, paving the path, like let the path pave in front of you. It may be unpaved where you're walking, but that's okay because it will continuously pave every step you take. But how do you get on that path? How do you recognize when you're not on the path? It's so important to realize when your life is stagnant and it is unable to move, there's a feeling, we've all felt it. It's like, why can't things just happen? Like, I feel like things are just blocked. It's like, I tried so hard for this. I, try, I want it so bad and I get so close and then poof, blocked. You didn't get the gig. You know, somebody told you no. Somebody didn't show up. It was like you were one little, someone else's decision away from you making it or you booking a giant job, or you getting a new client, but it didn't happen. Why? Why didn't it happen? I think you have blocks. I don't think you were fully set in where you needed to be to receive that promotion, to receive that meeting or that big job you were so close to, you weren't ready. You were literally blocked. You were blocking <clears throat> this success to come towards you. And it may sound totally off, right? It's like, how am I blocking my success? How am I blocking what's coming towards me? I wanted it so bad. Yes, you wanted it so bad, but were the things in your life not aligning so that you could have it. Life is so intricate. It's so crazy. It's so hard to explain. But the, all the mystics and gurus, they were all trying to touch on this thing that on the other side of sacrifice is release. On the other side of letting go what doesn't serve you is the surrender to flow. Be like water, my friends. Does water try to fit in some type of space? Like, oh, there's a box, there's a box up here, I'm gonna jump into it. No, it flows through the cracks and ebbs where it must, where it may be. So when your life can connect to that ebb and flow, you will start to unravel things you never thought were possible, or you said you wanted, but you didn't realize they would come that quickly. But if you're going against oneself to act in sin, 
that's that's ultimately what sin is right it's not like this i mean yes there's all the commandments that say thou shalt not this you know love your neighbor da 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 yes those are part of the sins but the ultimate sin is to go against oneself so what do you have in your life that could be going against your purpose what do you have in your life that could be going against oneself yourself myself and it's not always easy to recognize sometimes it takes deep reflection to realize what is blocking me what could i let go of that could potentially be very healthy for me move me forward help me help me groove into my divine purpose those are the hardest questions to ask and those are the ones we must you know everyone wants to run and you may say you don't want to run but when you sit and watch netflix for the last 3 hours of your night you're running it's just that simple you know if you're drinking the last 3 hours of your night you're running you're running from your purpose you're running from the divine so disengage from distraction disengage from disillusion face your fears head on take a look in the mirror be real with yourself be kind to yourself but be real give yourself a high five you know mel robbins i love it give yourself a high five and say it's going to be okay but i also know that this sacrifice this thing i'm letting go is also going to allow for my life to flow and you have to trust that process you have to trust it so deeply and i'm moving into that in my art i always wanted to be so good for everyone i wanted like to be recognized it's like if anybody could just understand what i'm writing or understand the music but it was like i didn't really put everything i had into it because i was always distracted i always had other things kind of taking the seat before my music taking the seat before my writing taking the seat before my reading and you know what i do every day now this is this is focus time this is you know i woke up at 6:30 in the morning i sat down i read my book for 45 minutes i meditated deeply for 15 minutes i had this inspiration to turn this camera on and give you guys this message because it was so it was coursing through me and i was like i have to share this i haven't done one of these in a while and i was like you know what it's back to youtube I know I'm meant to be the teacher. I know I'm meant to connect with all of you. But I need to receive message first. I need to understand where I'm going to be rooted and what uh authenticity I'm going to share and what will connect you to your ultimate power as well. So, that being said, I think this is a beautiful message. I don't think it has to be that long, you know. Um thank you for coming to my channel. Please subscribe and like and all that jazz. I am very uh what is the word? I'm very frequent or I'm very um immersed, very active on Twitter right now. So um that's been my platform as of the last I don't know. 2 weeks, three weeks. I find as a poet, as a thinker, as a writer, it is the best platform for me to share my mind and to share all my thoughts and my energies in a stream of consciousness to you. So, follow me, you know, see some of my poems, see some of my word. If you like it, retweet it, share it. I just want to connect a community of people that are wanting to change. You're one decision away. one and this isn't some i'm trying to sell something your one decision your one sacrifice from being on the right path in your life so what's holding you back 
Is it fear? Are you scared? Are you afraid of loss? Are you kidding me? I am too. I'm fucking, I'm human. I just said fuck, right? I am human. I feel pain. I feel sadness from release. But when you release, when you have mad tension and you, you know, and then you cry, crying is that release. It's that surrender. It's like, hey, I, I'm just letting go, you know? It is okay to cry. I encourage you to cry. I encourage you to feel and release and let what needs to be flow out of you emotionally, passionately. This will align you and you can start to work with this inner truth, this inner voice that's in all of us. You are solely unique. I need you to slow down. I need you to disconnect. You know, you have a world full of millions of distractions, millions of voices. And the only one you're not listening to is yours, your voice. But you want to know where that voice comes from? You want to know how you can listen to that voice inside you? By being quiet. Silence the Netflix, silence the dog, <laughs> you know, silence all environmental distraction. Sit with yourself, breathe deeply, think deeply, feel deeply. If you got to cry, if you got negativity flowing in you, feel that and breathe it out, roar it out, be a dragon, let the fire come out. It's okay, we're human, we need to express. But if you just grip on everything in life and you, one distraction, one distraction after another, and it's like, ah, I don't wanna face this pain. Oh, I don't wanna, I don't wanna face the hurt. You have to, there's no other way. It will show up in your relationship. It'll show up in your friendships. It'll show up in your work. It'll show up in the way you do business. It'll show up in the way you manifest a workout. <laughs> it'll, it'll come through in all sorts of ways. Projections, insecurities. You know where those projections and insecurities go? They go onto other people. They go onto other people, always. You know why? Because you didn't want to take the time to feel it, to grip it, to say, that's mine. Yeah, it fucking hurts. But I'm, 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 I'm dealing with it head on. I'm going to look it in its eye and say, you know what? I see you. I see my shadow self. I know what needs to change. No one else. It's not their fault. It's not their fault. It's not the guy in the Costco line's fault that cut me off and I, oh, I get mad. No, you control your reactions. All reactions are controlled in you. And if you don't have control over a reaction, then things come out. Projections, insecurities, darkness, things that hide inside of you, you know? That's all on the other side of not coming to yourself, not listening into your truth. I think that's it. I love this video. I'm so happy you guys shared this morning with me next to my fire. Uh, <laughs> I've been enjoying meditating in front of the fire lately. Um, so that's been great. Um, Thank you guys so much. Please subscribe and like and follow me on this journey. I want to be a part of your journey. So connect with me on Twitter and, uh, you know, I'll follow you back. We'll, we'll share positive reinforcement and, and encouragement. I want to create a community of people that love and not just superficial, not just, you know, oh, I want more followers, you know, give me, 
oh, let's give me 500 more followers just because. It's like, no, like, let's create a community that's like supportive, you know? Share positivity. Get out of the, the disillusion of media. Get out of fear. You want to step into your higher purpose? Goodbye to fear. All right, guys. I will see you on the next one. Peace.